Welcome everyone. Today in this video, I'll show you what to do if black and white squares appear on your computer screen. The first solution you should always consider is disabling the color filter. To do this, go to search bar and open settings. Click on the ease of access. Click on color filters. If the toggle for color filters is set to on, just turn it off. You can also turn on the toggle for the keyboard shortcut for color filters. If you turn it on, you can use the keyboard shortcut Windows key plus Ctrl plus C to turn the color filters on and off. Close this window and check if the problem still persists. Another solution is to change the resolution settings on your monitor. Again, open settings, click on system and then go to display. Under scale and layout, click on the drop down menu next to display resolution and select a different resolution. Check if the problem still persists. Next, you can run diagnostics on your computer. Go to Windows search, then type memory diagnostic and click on Windows memory diagnostic to open it. Click on restart now and check for the problems and Windows will scan for any issues and try to fix them as soon as possible. Check if the problem still persists. Lastly, another useful solution is to update the graphics driver and other important drivers on your computer. To update the drivers, you can go to device manager and update the drivers one by one. But this method can take too much time and effort. There's an easier way to keep your drivers up to date quickly by using driver updater software. I'm demonstrating with the reliable advanced driver updater. If you want to use the same, you can click on the link given in the description. Advanced Driver Updater automatically scans your system for outdated drivers and updates them with just one click. It ensures your display drivers and all other drivers are always up to date, saving you time and effort. So here is how it works. Download and install Advanced Driver Updater from the link given in the description. Open the software and click on Start Scan to scan your system for outdated drivers. Once the scan is complete, you'll see a list of outdated drivers. Click Update All to update all the drivers at once or select specific drivers to update individually. After updating the drivers, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. So that's it. Super simple, isn't it? If this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.